Recording in progress. Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir. We are live and direct once again for another episode of, well, you know what it is. It's no cat. What's up with you, man? You hear that? What's that? Lamps. Sound like Kendrick Lamar. All right, what? All right. Kendrick, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. That was yeah. an assassination, bro. <laughs> we just watched an assassination. We just watched a trilogy. A he trilogy? Three songs. A trilogy. He gave him um what was the first one? What was the first one he got? Euphoria. Bided him. Then he gave him Meet the Grams. Killed him. And then he just came with this. They not like us. Not like a boy. Stop. He so he did. So so wait, you said Kend- Kendrick Lamar did Kendrick Lamar did three. Kendrick Lamar gonna get life. <laughs> 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 he just he just bodied that man, man, in broad daylight without no mask. Uh, I heard the one on here the last episode when when we played it. I heard it on here, and ironically enough, I was uh helping my folks out the other day, and I was driving, and uh the people I had in the car. I was like, oh, put the whoop on. So I actually heard that one that you just played. Mm. That's the one where he got the uh, the beat actually knock on that one. Because that's and, much uh, did that beat. And then he said, and it got the, I think the hook said he a 69 guy. Is that that one? I was laughing. That's the part I remember because I was laughing at the hook. The hook was, it was it was funny to me because he was saying he a, 60, <laughs> he a 69 guy. And he that was that funny to me. He pedophile through the whole song. Yeah, I heard that too. So I, I just saw that. Uh, I mean, I was, uh, I was, in, I was driving, and uh, and in the uh, car that I was driving, uh, the passengers was like, uh, "Oh, have you heard the whoop 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 whoop?" I'm like, "Nah," and I was like, "I should have recorded it live and used it on here." <laughs> But anyway, mm. so I did, I actually heard, so I did hear something this time, just by default, I was in the car, and uh, they put it on, and I heard it, and and it, it was funny, it was, uh, yeah, like I said, the, the hook was super funny, I, mean, I was cracking up, the, he, he called him a 69 guy, man, it's, it's, pure, it's entertainment, man, it's pure entertainment, WWF at its finest, like I keep saying. Mm-mm. This was, this was the, uh. We just watched. We just watched the murder. <laughs> Man, did you the uh, the other one? Meet the Grams. Meet the Grams. He um. Oh, that's not it. Man, he, he started off the song calling the man son, and said, "I'm gonna teach you how to be a man since your daddy won't. You don't let no man piss on your leg. You don't pay for women." Man, listen, listen. He addressed his son. First verse. Then addressed his mama and his daddy on the second verse. Then talked to his daughter on the third verse. And then talked to him and said, no, this was this was all friendly warfare until you brought my people into it. Wait, so uh you talking about Drake. He was talking about Drake's son. Drake's son, Drake mama, okay. Drake daddy, and Drake daughter. I didn't even know Drake had kids like that. So okay. It ain't exactly. for me to know. I don't know him. Nobody knows he has a daughter. That's what he was saying. Your dad's uh, dad. I mean, or he doing. could just be somebody who don't want people all in his damn business because of his celebrity and he wants his kids to be able to grow up without. Right. That ain't what he said, P. <laughs> that ain't what he said. He know what he said. He said what he said. No, I'm he saying said that. 
it, it there are people who don't no, I know. Want, I, yeah, I know. You know, like, their kids yeah. all out there like that. At first, and you know what's crazy? Because my brother sent me, I think my sister sent one of the, somebody sent me to meet the Grams. Mm-hmm. And I had heard it. I listened to it, but I didn't really pay attention to it. Like it was like, all right, cool. The other one was better a little bit. But then after I heard this one, I like, damn, let me go back. Cause somebody put in there in the comments, it was the warning. Euphoria was the warning. Meet the Grams was the murder. And then not like us with the dancing on his grave. And when you listen to it, it's exactly that. You know what I'm saying? Like the setup. Hey, bro, leave me alone. I'm at peace. Then Drake responded, dropping, give me 50. Drake said, hey, uh, you're using your daddy just to make you, just so you can fit in. He, you need to pay him more. Yeah, listen. You said. I don't know why. I don't know why he's using your dad. Man up. Drake's, you said Drake said he's using his daddy? No, Kendrick Lamar told Drake you're using your daddy to sell people that oh, you black. Oh, because he mixed. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like, you need to get more off of him. He's like, he's using you for fame. He's like, man, your son a narcissist. He an alcoholic. He a pill popper. He a hoe. He a man. Listen, he told the mama, man, you know, your son is the type of dude that needs to be killed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and then next year them dudes gonna do a song together. Talking man, they ain't about doing no goddamn album. song together. That that that's Pac and Biggie. Yeah, nah, hell no, nah. not even close. It's, it's actually better. I, I mean, from from a, I mean, from a from a from a music standpoint, yeah. From a right from now. a drama, well, and from the generation, from a generational standpoint, entertainment standpoint, yeah, but um. It's different, I'll say that. It's not, I don't want to say better because, like, you know, I got shot and shit, and it was like different. It was just, it was, it was different. This is, this is just, I, to me, this is just pure entertainment. There's no, this is dark skinned versus light skinned. It. This is dark skinned colorism at its finest. Dark skinned versus light skinned. It. And with no and violence, was, though, is what I'm saying. I feel like there was violence either attached to or there was the opportunity for violence and obviously it was violence because neither one of those individuals is here right now so there was a hey. real violence hey. attached hey. to hey. to that it was violence it was violence in them flows brother it's violence hey. over hey. over wax as they hey. will say but i ain't no it, it was though it was the worst kind of violence yeah it was but the it worst no... kind of violence it's, you, it's you think in casualty you think in casualty and your entertainment but nah nah that was violence. Yeah. He 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 attacked the whole man's bro. He called that man a pedophile all on the thing. He said, if you if if you a girl and you like this, protect your sisters. He need to be locked up at Harvey Weinstein. You think he's a god, but he's really the devil. Man, what? Bro. <laughs> no, he yeah. told that man, he said, I'm a he said, I'm gonna tell you about your father. And this is what he said to the son. I'm gonna tell you about your father. He said, I'm gonna teach you how to be a man since he can't. You don't let a man piss on your leg. You don't spend all your money on on women. You don't be a trick, like bruh. He brought. He said, and then I'll come back to him when if you want to know some more about your dad, listen to this again when you're eighteen. Then, he yeah, went, he but went it's, to, I mean, you know, it's still that. just. I'm thinking mental. It, I mean, it's still I'm just music and, and words. There's no. A person can it's say, not- I can get up right now and say all kind of stuff about somebody. It's just me saying something. But in in, in comparison to, I, I think it's just entertainment is all I'm saying. It's entertainment, Bottom but line. it's entertainment to us. It's entertainment to us. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not the dogs in the fight. It's entertainment to us. But nah, nah. Because if even even I get what you're saying. But if somebody was coming back and made a whole album about you and said all that stuff about you, mm-hmm. it's going to turn violent. You're going to say, hey, it's on site. I don't, because, well, I, I don't, first of all, I don't think neither one of them going to say that. This is my point. Yeah, yeah. I can give you that. I'll go with that because I don't that, think that, that's one my point. That I don't think yeah. neither one of them is going to, as violent as they've, 
Mike, as as disrespect. So you got to think about it too. I listen to battle rap. One of like in my pastime, I listen to battle rap. These mm-hmm. dudes stand in front of each other, and what you hearing, what so people you- who don't listen to battle rap, people who don't listen to battle rap, what you hearing right now with these dudes is nothing compared to battle rap. No, it's I, a like slight taste of going it. In. You talk about like Arsenal when they be oh, talking so about Oh, so like Arsenal is a good... Now, right. if you ever listen to Arsenal, some of the stuff he be saying to people, bro... You have to do Fabby like that either. Though. You heard how he was talking to Fab when he was talking about his mom, his daughter, his wolf. Yeah. That's a regular day in battle rap. So if yeah. you follow real, like, the trenches of battle rap, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that was- you understand that it's just a lyrical warfare, right? And people get... Right, right super disrespectful in that but at the end of the day it's like if a, it's like after boxers fight they talk all crazy but after whoever get whooped is love like bro good fight whoopty whoop whoop you you feel me so nah. it's a lyrical you know, warfare you, you know what's but, going to happen and that i hope don't happen it because i agree with what you're saying right but again you know how i like to play devil's advocate it, it won't be them it won't be them two that have ended up being the casualties right it won't be them too. It'll be people in their entourage who trying to make a name for themselves and make their way uh, up with them groups. And then, oh, you said something about my boy. I said something about this. And it'll be the spectators, uh, a spectator who's part of an entourage that ends up hurt behind it, behind some foolishness. But yeah, I, I'll, again, be, I'll just, be highly surprised because I, I just don't. Yeah, we wouldn't hear. We see. wouldn't hear about it no way. Yeah, like, exactly. I, we, we wouldn't hear about it. The only ones who I say really be getting down most of the time, if you hear about it, it'd probably be Chris Brown. Chris Brown stay chunking him or something. <laughs> some, some, some type of shit. He got, he got uh, yeah, yeah, he stay chunking him or something. But I don't think, man, like I said, I don't know, bro. I don't, I just don't, I don't see it being more than lyrical warfare, which is a good thing. I'm not, nah, I'm not good, wishing y'all. that it be nothing else. That's a good thing. That's entertainment and it's staying where it's supposed to and you can be just like battle rap. Basically, what they're doing is battle rapping. Just being as mainstream artists, not battle rappers. And if you don't watch battle rap, if you don't follow battle rap, to get more understanding and context of what we're talking about right now, go watch some battle rap. And that's all okay. they're doing. And it'd be super disrespectful in battle rap. Even the face-off, when they be talking to each other before they even get to the bars on stage, the face-off leading up to it, they be talking crazy. Like how they was talking about Remy Ma and all like man, they be talking crazy to each other. They be man. So, but it's it's part of the art of battle rap. It's, that's what it is. My brother, my oldest brother is a uh my older brother is a, pro, a professional battle rapper. So I, mm. I'm really into the that's what he, you know, he didn't flown all over the country doing it. So I so for me, I'm just looking at it from a different lens right, right, right. because because of really being in the battle rap. As a as a fan and a follower of it, studying it, so yeah, I like it's just battle, battle rap on too. wax to me. Yeah, no, it, it's good. You know, hey, listen, J Cole said I don't want no parts of this. Y'all got it, but do you know who coming now? Now let's think about that. J Cole coming out like he really the king. Y'all y'all funking, and he just I'm gonna let y'all funk. But I remember, I said that. J Cole would do that. I said, J. Cole, I'd be surprised if he say anything. And if he do, he'll probably say something like, y'all want a response? Pause, don't say nothing, and that's the response. Like, you feel me? But then he actually dropped the thing, which, which surprised me. But right afterwards, he went back to him. like, And he bro. deleted it. He took, the, he took the song off of the platforms and everything and off the album. See what I'm saying? Hey, somebody now, I, I had read a comment earlier. They said that uh, Kendrick called J. Cole, like, bro, don't even come to school today. <laughs> nah, I think it's about I to think, go down, bro. I think I think what happened is uh J. Cole just he not that spotlight shit, even though what he do for a living, he not with all the like the extra shit that people be trying to put on people, like and that people use for what they call like clout and all that. Mm-hmm. He not now see Drake on the other hand, he thriving all that shit, all that media attention and all that. But anyway, to each his own. So I, I think it's lyrical warfare. If it's 
more than I don't I don't see it being more than that. And people say some really crazy shit when it comes to battle rapping. And these dudes, what you what we're seeing is battle rap on wax from commercial artists, two of the biggest commercial artists of this era, hands down. The biggest mm. commercial artists, not from maybe not from just a sales standpoint, but recognition household name. Uh and arguably in the top, you know whatever of ever of all times or rec recognizable names in the music industry period so it's battle rap on wax from commercial artists and they showing and they being true to the art of battle wax being absolutely disrespectful <laughs> and that at mm. its at, at its core that's what battle rap is who's the most disrespectful and don't give a f yeah so and from what you saying, it sounded like Kendrick was really disrespectful. <laughs> he was on his he was on his arsenal. But I Arsenal ain't even the I mean, Arsenal, he be disrespectful. But there's some dudes that got some real bars in there to his couple who, who, who are you talking about? Well, first of all, you you be disrespectful, but I ain't gonna let you do it. Cassidy, um, uh clips, um, the young cat, uh, uh what's little homie name? Um Y'all know who I'm talking about too. I I, I didn't dis I didn't discredit your whole opinion after you said uh Man, I was anyway, just I about talking about Cassidy, uh, Cassidy Garvey. Oh, uh, the little, little little young scrappy cuz. Uh what's his name? What's his name? I'm gonna put it on here when I when I edit it. I gotta go look at his name is. I'm gonna draw a blank on his name. The one who said uh, with another one. Oh, the C Bell the C Bell. Nah, not nah, not not uh not uh, Tay not Rock. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that Rock. was his Tay Rock, that was his his like his, his artist that ever. Uh, but Tay Rock, too, you could throw him in there. Clips, nah, this dude that I'm talking about here, underground cat, but he not nah, nah. who we say Arsenal is is Arsenal. Is yeah, them like top conceited. Yeah, them like Hitman. well known Hitman. Them uh, Cassidy uh, uh, beat him last battle they had. Cassidy beat him. Cassidy um, garbage, bro. Uh, man, I, I, whatever. I Cassidy man. battle like uh, Cassidy's ass. Cuzzo, I don't like it. I don't like him rapping. Hold on, let me let me let me let me pull up Cuzzo name real quick. Let me see if I can get man, my you other phone. Just watch Cass get smashed, man. Come on, yeah. I want I'm, you to I'm listen to this this young cat I'm talking about though. He, kind of he grimy. He in the trenches, but he he that that he kind of raw. What's Cuzzo name? Don, Don I'm gonna get his name. John John and Don. What, he he cool. Uh, I think uh, uh, Fab's supposed to battle him. Fab. He did Fab battle. Him. He already beat him. He already beat Fab. Uh, Fabby battle rapping on the under two. Hey, yeah, so yeah, Fabby battle rapping. You know the problem with Fab battle rapping. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm like any you know, from the town that do his thing. But you know what make up uh, Fab? Uh, Fab don't really. Fab is more positive. Like you know, what I'm saying on some. I'm gonna promote, but I'm still gonna get in. Fab going there freestyle when the other people didn't it's, already it's, did it's, that it's, research and write it it's down. It's also it's also money. Yeah, it's also money. You know, he's 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 smart. He's a businessman. And he's just and, and and that's how Fab got on. By the way, he was battle rap. That's part. Well, freestyling and and then also like battle rap. That's why he do it. He liked the art. Little that's young cuz though that I'm talking about. I mean, it's 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 a lot of cats um that you got that's that's uh that's raw, but uh it's the young cat that I had came across and uh uh cuz from making the band. Is uh raw too uh with the battle rap shit. Um, nah, nah, chopper. Nah, neither oh. one of them is battle rap. Uh, he um uh, Mike the, T or whatever his name was. Nah, the, the fat other one. dude. Yeah, the fat one. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, Lil Cuz that battle rap. Let me see, Lil Cuz that battle rap. Anyway, we didn't got on to uh battle rap. I'm gonna try to uh pull a dude up so I can tell you so you can listen to him. But this little he 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 raw too. Uh, uh, I think battle rapping is a good thing anyway. You know what I'm saying? I like battle rapping. Oh, well, oh, hold on. Murder Mook, if we talking about Murder Mook, go crazy. Uh, he, <laughs> I mean, if we really, if we really talking about some, uh, I mean, a lot of them, the tag team battle rap be cool too, though. I like the tag team battle raps too. Yeah, Murder Mook might... go crazy and other cuz that, uh, uh, that uh, be with Murder Mook. They, they like the the top dudes right now. Um, 
damn, bro, I forgot little cuz name, and I was gonna, uh, I was gonna tell you so you could pull him up. I'll tell you next, uh, uh next time we get on here, cause I gotta, I gotta research and find him, cause I'm drawing a blank on his name. But he kind of think I was gonna get on today either. Either I know you didn't. That's nah, you sure hit me out the. They got easy to block captain right here. Mm -hmm. Here go Maybe my uh, dude. That push. Yeah. Here go Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me see if they got my I mean, little. I'll be watching all the. I'll be about. watching all the battle raps. Yeah, you said Remy Ma, dude. <laughs> no, it's Pat Poose, but shit, he just snatched uh, Remy from uh from Pat Poose. Gucci Gotti uh conceded. Question of the day. I mean, you keep looking. I'm gonna get a question of the it day. Will What's the yeah, nickname? What's the nickname your mother gives your significant other? What? What's the nickname your mother gives your significant other? This is a majority wins. We're going to go with A. Stupid hoe bitch. No. A. Oh, here you go. Right here. Cuzzo. JC. JC. That's his name. JC. Young, grimy. I don't know how young he is, but grimy. Grimy little and he uh he not really like as far as I know he not super mainstream. JC though he kind of raw he raw because <laughs> raw JC little raw little raw uncut because raw. But uh I'm check him out. Yeah, JC that's what I was talking about. Who he battled? Who he battled already? See that's what I'm saying. He ain't really like in that realm of all them dudes. He right. do more right. like underground and 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 shit like that. But he be mm. killing for. So he ain't really battled like, uh, to my Nobody knowledge, like like right. Arsenal or none of them dudes. I don't know why. But, I mean, because uh, the bag got to be right, I guess, for Arsenal to come out. Yeah, them dudes. Them dudes is you know they more top of the, tier, yeah, yeah, household names and Cuzzo more in the trenches. But that's why I like him because he, you know, what I mean. But they know him. They know who they know. Who, <laughs> they know who he is, and they probably just don't don't want no problems with little Cuz like that because, yeah, he. JC, check him out. He kind of he he kind of dope. Let me know what you think. Check him out. Now back to my trivia question. Yeah, JC, I'm gonna check you out. 